Southwest Florida, welcome back to Lee Pitts Live. We are so uh, delighted to be here to the fourth annual Haitian Heritage Scholarship Gala. Fourth annual means that it has been progressive and it has gone on for four years and will continue on into the future. Lee Pitts Live is so happy to be the media sponsor again. We've been here from its inception and I knew then that that was a raindrop, the first one, and it would eventually become an ocean and certainly we are at the ocean level tonight here at the Broadway Palm Dinner Theater. I'm so thrilled to have two leaders in our community who have made us proud and continue to make us proud. Uh, my good friend Betsy Vaughn, who's the chair of the scholarship gala, and uh, Kevin Anderson, who's a sitting city councilman. Welcome both of you to Leap His Live. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, uh, so uh, Kevin, I was think that you've been to one of these before, or is this your first one? No, no, I've been to uh, one in the past. I think last year, as a matter of fact. How have you enjoyed them in the past, and what do you think about the turnout tonight? Oh, it's, it's a great event, and the turnout's great. You know, Fort Myers is such a diverse community, and so to see these events and to be able to support them is just, it's great. I, I'm constantly seeing you in the community, uh, learning the community more in depth. We know you knew it as a, a law enforcement officer, but as a politician, are you discovering even more nicks and nooks and crannies of our mosaic, mosaic community by moving around? You know, Lee, one of the most important things I've learned in the last 11 months is how much I don't know. Mm -hmm. And so by getting out there in the community and being involved is, is really helping. I don't know if you know it, but I spent six hours riding on a garbage truck, picking up garbage. I've spent time at the fire stations running calls and with the police. And uh, hopefully within the next couple of weeks, I'm going to spend time with public works. So I really get out there and see the city see how it's operating and see how we're taking care of our people oh my goodness that's our grassroots approach before i leave you for a second uh why is it important that we have uh, why do you think events like this scholarship gators are uh I hate recognizing uh the haitian heritage are so important to our community well as i said we're a very diverse community and we have to embrace all aspects of the community and lift all aspects of the community up Outstanding. Now, uh, Bessie, you chaired this. If I'm not mistaken, you chaired it all four years, haven't you? This fourth year? Well, actually, I'm the scholarship chair. That's what I mean. Chairperson. And um, our president, Beatrice Jaquette, has done a stellar job in getting this organized. But I did put in a lot of time this morning and, and uh, you know, moving, moving along in the past several weeks. I've. Um, yeah, I've done okay. my share. Okay, let's you're say. a school board representative, yes, and you're the scholarship chair for this event. Yes, those two go together like uh, peanut butter and jelly, wouldn't it? I, I would say so, <laughs> or peanut butter and chocolate, uh, in salt a, and pepper. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, they go together well. <laughs> yeah, they do. I got a chance to talk to a scholarship recipient already. Uh, yes, uh, which is the, the thrust of why we are here, and yes. he was so delighted to be able to get a scholarship. He's at Florida Gulf Coast University. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said he's going to get a thousand dollars. It's going to help him a lot in what he is doing. How does it feel when you hear these stories and, and get a chance to look at the uh, applications of these uh, students who will be getting these, uh, these scholarships? What is so gratifying is that as I read their personal essays and I read the recommendations that have been written, I find that so many of the students. Um, have Haitian born parents or um, perhaps we've actually had a couple scholarship winners that were born in Haiti mm -hmm. um, one from last year came to the United States when he was in middle school not knowing a word of English and graduated at the top of his class so it is just so gratifying to see how hard these students work and, and how well they succeed. It looks like we have a sold out event tonight. We have <laughs> a lot of people here tonight. <laughs> Can't wait to get on the inside. I see people gonna be uh, coming to try to meet you at the cashier thing there. So I'm gonna uh, wrap this up, but stay right here for one more, one okay. more question. Uh, uh, Kevin, education, uh, being a city council person, do you guys as county city council people do you have any way of having an influence or uh, concern about education and how it impacts our city for, for youth you know the city council doesn't 
normally get involved with educational issues. However, uh, I think um, I'm comfortable speaking for the rest of the council that we all recognize how important education is. You know, as a former school resource officer, one of the first ones in Lee County, I can remember having conversations with numerous kids telling them, you know, almost anything you earn in life, somebody could take it away from you, except your education. That's, that's so important that you learn everything you can. And once you do, it's yours, and they, they can't pull it back. I couldn't have said it better myself. Well, it's been a pleasure to have both of you stop by. Thank you, Lee. Keep up the good work. I'm going to work on it and have another great gala next year. And Kevin, uh, on air, I want to thank you for casting your vote for the Quality Life Center to uh, get that funding even though they didn't get it. Well, Lee, you know where my heart is. It's in the community. And, and as a former law enforcement officer, I know the impact that these programs have on our community. All right. We'll be right back.